adventurers we are currently in Homosassa Springs Florida and we are visiting the sugar mill this place dates back to what is it the 1800s that's what I would be my guess we'll check the signage yeah I didn't really see a sign as we walked in uh, but I do know it actually this all used to be a plantation so it has a bit of a dark history so we are gonna do a necrophonic session and see what we can find out about the history of this place um, other than the fact that it was a plantation, I don't know a whole lot about it. We've driven past this place quite a few times and we're always like, we're gonna go check that place out one of these days. So you know what? Today is one of these days. And we had to plan this ahead because we've tried before and there's a really nice little restaurant, bar and grill here. So if you hit too late, uh, they have a lot of um, outdoor like music bands. So yeah, we had to plan a little bit ahead. So. It's wide enough so we can investigate and also there is a road which you might hear a little bit there's a little traffic, traffic. yeah uh, and incidentally when we were actually on our way here I was like finally we get to go we're going we're gonna do this it started freaking raining man and I'm like what so we got here and as you can tell I'm not seeing the rain you're right look at the sky look at the oh, sky it's beautiful it what less than five miles ago it was yeah boring so let's do this guys it's gonna be a cool adventure all right guys so this is the view from the road of the sugar mill it's not huge but um, i'm gonna take you around and show you what it looks like here first before we get into our investigations so it looks like we're clear no traffic we are gonna make our way across It's pretty awesome though, it really is. Matter of fact, I think when I was a kid, I may have come here on a field trip. Some of the um, concrete's a little uneven, but they do have it marked off with the yellow. So just to let you know, be super careful. This looks like actually a well. It doesn't, it, it did have a sign here. Uh, there's no longer a sign here. Oh, but there's there's a spider web. It's not super deep, but I don't know if maybe if there was weight on top of those sticks, if it would just collapse. Who knows how deep that well was at one point. It's kind of creepy though. So the sugar mill is actually located right on the Homosassa River. And they actually used to use the water in the production of the sugar, so, and the molasses. Pretty interesting. And just so you guys know, this is just a canal of the Homosassa River. The actual head spring is absolutely beautiful. If you've seen our video of Homosassa Springs Wildlife State Park, that is what the head spring looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. I believe it's a second magnitude spring. Uh, Wikiwachi is a first magnitude and Wikiwachi is absolutely pristine. So when it reopens, we're going to go back there, probably the day of reopening. And um, we've already done some videos there as well. That's the one with the mermaid show. But this is absolutely gorgeous. So serene. Nothing like the life on the river. Lisa's over there. She's getting everything ready for our necrophonic session. Yeah, I don't know. This is a, uh, it's all pretty intriguing. I'm going to post some pictures on, um, on our Instagram and our Twitter accounts as well. So if you guys are not already following us, I'm going to go ahead and put our uh, links in the description. So that way you guys can find us on social media as well. This, look at this thing. I don't know why that looks just really creepy though. Let's see what's inside of it. Oh, wow. That is creepy, man. I'm pretty sure I might have just seen an orb with my own eyes. Are there any spirits in there? Look, I'm catching a vibe. Usually when I catch a vibe... It's going to be a pretty active location, so I'm definitely catching the vibe here. You feel anything here? Yeah, I do, actually. 
Yeah, I get a vibe here too. So. Um. I'm guessing this is where the sugar came out, the juice. Oh, do you think that's right? Yeah, because... Um, it's really creepy in there. I zoomed in. Yeah, I'm thinking that might be where they actually collected it because everything else is the gears. And they said the gears and they had a steam engine and it crushed the cane. And it's then pretty it, intricate, the, the juice, whole process. I know. Well, like, I, don't, I have to Google the exact date of this place. No wonder sugar was so expensive. Right. All right, guys. So I looked up the Wikipedia on this place and I just wanted to share that with you guys because it's always good to get a, you know, just kind of a perspective, brief history on the places that we're investigating because that way when something comes through the spirit box, you might be like, oh, that makes so much sense, you know? Um, so it says, uh, currently Yuli Sugar Mill Ruins Historic State Park. It is actually a Florida State Park. It's a very small Florida State Park, but I will let you know that it doesn't require admission, which is an awesome thing because, you know, it's a free place to visit when you're on vacation or if you live here and you just didn't know. So, um, so it says it contains the ruins of a forced labor farm, AKA, um, slaves, which was horrible. Uh, it says Yuli was an enslaver and a delegate of the Florida territorial legislative council. After Florida became a state, he was elected by legislature in 1845 to the U S Senate. So he served on the Confederate Congress credited with having developed a network of railroads that tremendously boosted the state's economy. So basically he was very wealthy and you know, I guess he thought that he didn't have to be human if he was that wealthy. So I don't know. Um, but let's see what else we can find out. Let's see. Yuli farm, um, enslaved about 1000 African Americans. They raised sugar cane, citrus, and cotton. The large mill, which was steam driven, ran from 1851 to 1864. It produced sugar, syrup, and molasses. The latter used in making rum. The farm was largely destroyed during the Civil War. Good. That serves him right. <laughs> but I am glad that, you know, we can at least look at this and appreciate. I mean, wow. It's, it's amazing that this can produce sugar and, um, molasses and they even made rum out of the molasses which i didn't even realize that that was what you used to make rum did you know that no i really didn't know i huh. bet that made some money so here's a little bit of information about the actual structure that remains it says at the park the stonework foundation well and 40 foot chimney of the mill iron gears a cane press and some of the other machinery remain this was actually added to the National Registry of Historic Places, August 12th, 1970. So, wow, that's pretty cool. You know, like I said, it has a very dark history, but it is beautiful. Like, I think it's cool that this still exists. It would be a sad thing if they tore it down. So, you know, while I don't agree with what happened here, I mean, it has its place in history, you know, and it's interesting to, to, look, to look at today. And, you know, maybe we can give the poor people here that were enslaved we can give them a voice and we can let them speak today so hopefully that will help them be free i think we're about ready to get into the investigation guys but before i do there's a beautiful butterfly that i just want to show you real quick hang on a second as i was talking about being enslaved and being free today a butterfly shows up what are the chances of that guys you can't tell me it's not related i wouldn't believe it for a second that's amazing. Okay, guys, Lisa's going to go ahead and turn on the necrophonic and we're going to see what we hear. <laughs> Ask some questions. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Hi, mm -hmm. who's here with us? Yo. Did you say Yuli? Did you say Yuli? Yuli. Wait. <laughs> What can you tell us about this plantation? What it used to be like? <laughs> Guys, it's really hard for us to actually hear too well. So what I'm going to do, we're going to not say what we think we hear because we might be 100% wrong. I think the beginning. But we definitely heard Yuli. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and try to put in the rest of the... Um, the EVP is what I'm hearing. I'm just going to try to go ahead and put those in. Mm 
So guys, that was already getting some good ones. So we're going to um, ask some more questions. I think they seem pretty receptive. Yeah, I definitely think they want to talk to us today. What kind of messages, what would you like to share with us today? Talk to you. Okay, that was clear as day. That was clear. I keep seeing a butterfly. Does that have any significance? Is one of you the butterfly? Are any of you uh, workers? We're workers here. I heard crop. Oh. Did you work in the cotton fields or the sugarcane fields? Both. What can you tell us in one word? In one word, what was it like to what was it like to to work this to work this um, mill? Sure, it was very hot. Were you treated unfairly? Yes. Can you tell us your name? If there are more than one of you here, which I'm sure there are, can you, you can each say your names. Just say it one at a time for us, please, so we can all hear who you are. We want to know your names. So I want you to know, even if Mr. Yuli is standing right here, you don't have to be afraid anymore. He is not in charge of you. He has no say about what you do or what you say anymore. You are free. Lay, are you here with us? Lay, I'd appreciate it if you could come through for us. Hi, Lay. Thank you. Thank you for coming through. I want you to please talk to these people for us a second and let them know that they no longer have to be afraid. Lay was a very powerful man. Lay was also a slave owner. And he has apologized to the people that he have he has hurt. Lay, can you please tell these people they do not have to be afraid any longer, that they are free? What kind of eerie here? Yeah, all of a sudden it got a little bit chilly and eerie. Lay, can you please talk to the people that are trapped here and let them know that they're no longer under anybody's, under anybody's, um, what's the word, oppression, that they're, they're free? You no longer have to be held captive. You are free. You can move on to the next level. Is Mr. Yuli still here? What was his first name? I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Yuli, what was your first name? Oh, 
Are you are you sorry for the things that you've done? It'd be really nice if you could apologize to the people that you've hurt. Can you tell them you're sorry? Pain. Mm -hmm. Pain. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh. Did you want to ask something else? It sounds like they're talking a little bit. Are there any spirits that feel like they're still stuck here, working? Spirits. Do you like it when we... Are, are you enjoying this visit with us today so that you get a voice? We just want your story to be heard. We want you to find peace as well. Is this helping to bring you some peace? Nobody deserves to be treated the way that you were treated. We're, we are here to help. We are here to help you. So I'm going to turn the spirit box off for just a second. I'm going to try something different now. We've never done this before, but I know there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of background noise. There's a lot of traffic, but this thing that I'm looking at right now, if you're here and you want us to continue talking with you, can you please make it make a noise? Make some sort of noise to get our attention. Or, you know, if you want to become a butterfly again and fly in front of us, that would be okay too. Just, just something to let us know that you're here and, and you appreciate us being here. You, you like it talking to us and sharing your story and you want us to help you find peace. That's weird. All of a sudden I smell smoke. You yeah, smell it? The breeze picked up. Yes. It's interesting because you said that they, this used to be a chimney. Yes. Oh yes. my gosh. I do smell smoke. Like, and it was a wood fire. Alright, we need to find out if they're doing this. If they're doing that. Yeah. Did you just make it smell like fire here? We asked, we asked for a sign. Did you make it smell like smoke? I heard a yes. We did that. Can you make it look like smoke out of the chimney? It sounded like they were going to say smoke. Can you make anything come out of that pipe? I'm assuming the juice came out. It said winds. The wind did just pick up. Look at this. It was still. It was very still. Look at this wind. Like you can see it across the. Look at this. They just said winds and the wind really picked up. Wow. Interesting. Would you like it if we came back and visited you again?
don't smell the smoke anymore. I just heard Lay's horses, though. Mm -hmm. Lay, thank you for coming through today. We've been missing talking to you. Okay. Look at this, guys. There is a lizard right there on that pipe where Lisa said she wanted to see something. Look, he's even putting out his dewlap. Look at that. Can I ask him? Is one of you the lizard? Who's the lizard? What are the chances of that? There was nothing there. There was absolutely nothing there. I'm getting chills. Which one of you is the lizard, if any? Are you showing us where the the uh, sugar came out of the pipe? It's really hard for me to hold it steady, guys, because I'm so zoomed in. I can hold this. Yeah, but I don't want to mess with what they're saying. Oh. Who's the lizard? Give me your name. Up oh. oh, there he goes. He's going inside. It's hiding. <laughs> Did you say sugar? What did you make out of the molasses? Rum. Whoa. Okay, that that is pretty intense. That's confirming. Wow. I wasn't sure how this investigation was going to go because it's kind of a small place, but man, this place has got some serious history, guys. So, you know, it, it just goes to show it doesn't really matter where you go. If there's a story there, um, you're going to hear it. And hopefully wherever it is that you do go, you can help the spirits that are stuck there or feel like they're trapped, you know? You can help them find some freedom. I heard gone. Oh. Going. Going. Did you realize you're free? Did you realize you're free now? I smell the smoke again. I do too. Going. Do you see the light? It said, yeah, beam. Will you go into the light now? <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with us today. You don't have to be afraid anymore. You're free. We can come visit you again, but I think it'd be best if you go to the light. You would feel much better than being trapped here. Now, I have been told by other spirits that you're able to go back and forth. So, if we come back to visit again, you're welcome to come talk to us, even if you do go to the light. You can still, t you can still come talk to us. Is there anything else you'd like to say to us before we leave? You're welcome. Wait, that must sound African. Was that African? Was that an African language? See, that sounded like it too. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
The smoke is really strong. Mm -hmm. Such a beautiful spring day down here today. I mean, it's technically fall, but it feels like a beautiful spring day. Yes, there is no wind now, guys. Look at the sky. The sky is bright, bright blue. Is that the moon? Yes. Wow. Like everything shifted. Everything shifted. I just feel like everything just light, light. I mean, it was a looming black cloud when we started the uh, spear. I don't see one black cloud. Do you? No, not at all. Not at all. I'm seeing blue to behind us. To the, like, where did it go? Wow. It's almost like they're able to control the weather. I know. I think they can. I think they can to give you signs. I, I do agree with that. Yeah. Lay. We got here. It was did sunny. wait? They said lay. Did lay help you? No. Helped. Thank you so much, lay. Thank you. I knew you could help them. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, you may lead them. I mean, he has the horse thing and the lead <laughs> momentum. Lay, for those of you that don't know, Lay was a, a slave owner from England, and he did some really bad things in life. But he has asked for he has asked for redemption, um, and he has apologized to the people that he hurt. And I do believe that he is taking the opportunity to try to make up for what he's done while he was here on Earth. He passed back in the was it 1700s? Or 1800s. You know, I'm thinking 17 or early 18. I think he was born in the 1700s, yeah. and he passed in the yeah. 1800s. Yeah. Um, he was from England. He was from England, and he had a very, very dark history. We actually have done videos about him, and when we go back up to Maryland, we will do some more videos about him. Um, but I'm gonna look at him, you know, in a different light now because of all the amazing things that he's trying to do. And it's funny because I don't know about you. But when I was growing up, I thought, you know, once you died, you were judged and that was it. But, you know, since we've gotten into the paranormal investigation and we talked to Lay, I would, I would go so far as to say we met him. Um, you know, he kind, of, he kind of has convinced us otherwise that you actually have a chance to redeem yourself after you pass. That's not to say that you should live your life being a jerk and, you know, spreading lies about people or... I guess it's still time to correct your character flaws, and it seems he had some pretty dark flaws. Yeah. So maybe because of that, and he understands, that's how he can help this type of uh, spirit world. Right. He understands about it. It's pretty amazing. And I mean, who better to free slaves than someone who themselves was a slave, mm -hmm. a slave owner mm -hmm. and recognized what they did was very wrong. So I just think this is... Wow. It, it gives me a really good feeling, you know. Wow, I just felt the breeze again. Mm -hmm. Very gentle. And I smell the smoke again. It's interesting. It keeps coming and going. And when we first got here, I was definitely feeling like a heaviness. Yes. I feel really at peace right now. Mm -hmm. What about you? It does. Uh, and the fact that the weather, because if anybody's been in Florida... When you see a dark cloud, Jen's really good at that. She says, it's going to rain in five minutes. She's like, she's and you can like, usually smell and it. And you can usually smell it. I mean, it might be a short rain, but and I'm not kidding you. And then a dark cloud usually is somewhere close by, even if you didn't get wet. But I don't see, uh, that's just, just baffling me. Because I, I was actually saying, Jen, let's hurry up. It's going to rain. And the whole, everything changed. Yep. So, very cool. Very cool. All right, guys, it has been a really interesting investigation. I feel like we did a lot of good today. I feel like we helped set some people free. Um, you know, it's so sad that people can be enslaved and treated that way their whole lives. But it makes me feel some type of way. Like just, I can't tell you the joy that overcomes me when they say that they feel free. I just, I can't explain that to you. Such a peace has come over this place since we did our necrophonic session. It, I, I, it's unexplainable. I, I really 
It's not often that I'm at a loss for words, ask Lisa. <laughs> and it's been over, well, it was pre-Civil War, so if you can figure out the time frame that these people could have, these spirits could have felt stuck here. Yeah, it's for way too long. It's just so sad. But we hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. So we love you guys, and okay. we will see you on our next Raptor, Raptor Adventure. Adventure.